you're never going to think of Los Angeles as the major crime city the way they did with, uh, with the Manson murder. Life magazine published the, the photograph of Charles Manson on the cover and he looked wild and crazy. And I think people in the United States seem to like horror pictures. They go to the movies and they, they see the, the Halloween movies and everything. Well, here the people had a real life monster who could convince young people to commit murder for him. After the Manson file came out, and that was really the first book that ever even presented Charles Manson, not only in a sympathetic way, but merely presented him as a human being. So it created quite a stir. And I said on national TV that the, that Vincent Bugliosi had conducted a show trial, that, that what he presented as the narrative of the crimes, this whole helter-skelter race war Beatles theory was not true. There had never been a cult like this, and there never was again. It had so many facets to it, the, the preying on young people, the ability of a single leader to use drugs, sex, and rock and roll to get people to follow him was unprecedented. And it resonated. He is famous forever. It's a persona that uh, it now has a life of its own. I remember when Helter Skelter came out. That was like the second wave. That's when I first learned about it. And it was just, you know, it was horrifying. It was, it was, it's so much more complex because the, the pathology of the people who committed these, these murders weren't like your one in a billion serial killer, lone wolf. You know, it's like these people who look like the Beatles. Charles Manson was kind of like an act of a rebellion to us. And I have to say, there was never any kind of worship the philosophy of Charles Manson. I wonder if the Manson thing would have lived on so many decades had there not been the connection between the Beatles' White Album. Because the Beatles' White Album, yeah, of course, like the Beatles have had longevity through all these years. So there's any time a person discovers a white album, they always, they always, you know, they always say, oh yeah, this is that album that the, the Charles Manson, and it kind of feeds off of itself. So is I think it the, fanning the, flames? the Beatles have really helped. Young people discover the white album every generation, yeah, yeah, and, and all of the baggage connected all, uh, to it, and the mystique connected to it. ultimate PR. I engine. think without the soundtrack of the Beatles, I don't know if they would have had, if the, the Manson thing would have had the longevity. The change came because, I think, People saw a crazy side of drugs that they had not seen before. I mean, I covered a lot of love ends, and everybody was dancing around and waving beads and clanging things and hugging and kissing and all that, but they weren't killing each other. Peace, love, and the drugs and everything. And it was, it was a nice illusion, and it went poof. It was, it was gone, really gone. I mean, it was so definitive, the, the ax had fallen, the door, had closed, you know, literally. And Charlie brought the 60s to an end. Yeah, I think that uh, any naivete that, that remained about the summer of love and about hippies and about counterculture was wiped out by it. Now it was a much more hard-edged society. It was scary to think about. And then, of course, when it was hippies, we, it was like, oh no, this is gonna be a scourge on us all. <laughs> and of course it was, because we were seeing the hippie movement, the free love, the, all that drugs, was seen as a negative thing after Manson did what he did, because he was a hippie, but of course he was not. He grew his hair, that's all. That's the only kind of hippie he was. I do think that the, the Tate LaBianca <clears throat> murders have made a big impact on this whole area because He's become some kind of a folk hero, which is scary. This whole mother uh, attention thing, I don't need nobody's attention about nothing. I can do what I do by myself. I don't need nobody. I ain't looking for no followers. I'm looking to survive. I mean, if you think the persona of evil, uh, it's media-wise and public 
Why is there really? I mean, if you ask people, they would say, yeah, well, there's Hitler and, and there's Manson. Really? That's it, huh? But Manson had a streak of pure evil. I guess the story is that it persists till now, that uh, he's dead finally, and yet it's as if the curse has not disappeared. And it hangs over everyone who was ever involved with him.